I imagine that you are not at all surprised that President Trump has used the pandemic to once more go after immigrants. He has been doing that throughout his presidency, and it seems as though he would never let any good crisis go to waste when it comes to attacks on immigrants. I want to start with some of the latest announcements and then go back to what has been transpiring over the past several weeks of the pandemic. The latest is, of course, that he is putting a moratorium on legal immigration right now, a 60-day ban on green card applicants coming to the U.S. And he's making this claim, he's justifying it, saying that he wants Americans to be first in line for jobs rather than foreigners coming from abroad. And he's also used the term the invisible enemy when talking about the virus, which is also sort of a double meaning, I think, for immigrants. Are you at all surprised about this latest attack? Absolutely not. It's, um, you know, the, a, the Trump administration really represents a um, far right government. Um, it's very much a clear part of their ideology, their agenda in terms of um, continuing to try to uh, implement policies and promote a very hostile anti-immigrant um, racist um, ideas and policies. So it is consistent. I just think that at this current moment, uh, it is um, the stakes are so high for everybody. And um, uh, again, it just it, it's another uh, reason why during this global uh, health crisis that uh, we need to be challenging those ideas because it's not just about someone on the border or one segment of the population being affected. Um, but uh, this pandemic has is clearly uh, connected, uh, connected all shows how connected we all are. And we need to make sure that um, we tear down any forms of discrimination or distinction uh, to care and the support that needs to happen. And so pushing forward those kinds of um, ideas uh, is actually deadly. So, um, yeah, in terms of access, bringing people in, people who are trained and uh, like in healthcare to do a number of these uh, jobs are frontline workers. Immigrants are frontline workers in, in not just in healthcare, but in the cleaning, in agriculture. And um, and they actually right now are doing heroic work. So instead of um, trying to stigmatize immigrants, we should be honoring them uh, beyond words, but in, in our policies. Right. There's some huge percentage of doctors and, and even nurses around the country of immigrant origin. And we currently have a shortage.